kind of like an and, and, and approach. So like education for individuals, but also brand accountability, you know, holding the big brands accountable Mm -hmm. to make change and policy change. And those are like the three pillars of our work is education, brand accountability and policy change. And we believe that all three of those things work in tandem, you know, because it takes people to influence politicians, you know, it takes politic policy to influence brands. And so it's all like working together. My origin story with the podcast is very similar to my origin story with remakes. So I think after that major disaster happened, you know, I wanted to make a difference, but I think this is a common story. Like we don't know how to make a difference on our own and we need community and we need other people around us. And so I started going out looking for that community and other sustainability spaces, found that in the secondhand community found remake, you know, on a fashion advocacy community. And so I got involved both in making the podcast and with remake around the same time. This probably would have been around 2017, 2018 Mm -hmm. or so. Um, And yeah, for me, it was just to find others who cared about these issues so that it could link arms and do better together. It's built off of this ideology that it takes three months to build a good habit that lasts. Mm -hmm. So whether you're trying to get an exercise routine or wake up earlier in the morning or what have you, it takes 90 days, three months, whatever, to build a habit that's going to last with you um, beyond those 90 days. And so that's the idea behind No New Clothes. If we can get you to pledge to not buy anything new, to reset that relationship with just automatically buying new and you can commit to doing it for 90 days, it's going to have this effect on you as an individual person that we believe will last you for a long time. Mm -hmm. To think about how could I be helping the fashion, you know, how could I be making the world a better place uh, with this time that I'm spending not shopping? And it's that mental reset every year. And of course, you get to do it alongside, you know, 1,500 other challenge takers. And so you get to see I'm making this, you know, together we're making this real impact in terms of water saved and carbon emissions saved. Um, So it has an effect on you both as a person and then as a community. For me, I stay optimistic because I see change happening every day Mm -hmm. and like because I get to be a part of campaigns and then see people take action on it and see real results happen. And so for me, I'm like constantly getting that affirmation that people deciding to make change has effect. And, um, you know, I even think that when challenges come your way, like you mentioned COVID, for example, and I think, you know, in some ways you can think of those as challenges, but in other ways, you can think of those as moments that make people care. Mm -hmm. Like for example, um, during the early days of the COVID pandemic, Remake was part of a coalition working on the pay up campaign, which was um, brands started canceling orders that had already been in production and garment workers had already been sewing the orders and hadn't been paid for them at the start of the pandemic. And that uh, campaign was able to get $22 billion worth of owed wages back into the hands of garment workers who had done that work. And I personally believe that the reason that that campaign sparked so much international attention at the time that it did is because the world was all thinking about what would happen to me if I were laid off suddenly yeah. without work? What would happen to me you know, if I was forced to work in unsafe conditions? And I think that in that moment, that really horrible moment, it caused a lot of people who have never had to think about those things to think about them. Yes. And I think that it made the message resonate with people more. And so I think even in times where it seems like it could be harder to make that, um, make those connections, I think it is still possible for people to come around to understanding this is something that affects all of us and can affect any of us.